Hey, leave Flynn just stop there. He only said the next section, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. No, it's the water that comes through the rock. Because this is how it gets. Originally, this would have been water flowing through here. And the water's, that's, that's what's made all the... Just don't go any further, Shalice. That's the other group. There you go, you're the other group? Yes, yes. Okay, same with me, George. <laughs> it's always, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence, isn't it? 1879. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. totally. <coughs> you must have been an infant. I was <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there, there wouldn't have been the concrete, there wouldn't have been the stainless steel. No. Iron railings back then. Mm. Mm. 66 of them. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. Here's the stairs. Johnny, come behind. Come behind. Come behind. Sorry, darling. I'll just get through. Wow, that's cool. Shalice. Hey Flynn, this is the original handrail. <coughs> they obviously made for tall people, weren't they Flynn? <laughs> This one was discovered 50 years ago. Oh, look, there's a water fling. <laughs> we have to get another head. Head harness fling. That's the water that we're drinking up there out of the bubbler. Yeah. Wow, I bet you that's cold. That's beautiful. This is a good one we chose, isn't it, Flynn? Yeah. Is it cold? I don't know, but it's wet. <laughs> 14 degrees. It's cold enough. 14, wow. What do you reckon the temperature is on the second waterfall down there? 
Second water. You know, you got the um, blue lake and then you got oh, the waterfall. Yeah. We were swimming in that yesterday. It was pretty cold. Yeah, it's pretty cold. Yeah. What's that, Della? Look how big that crystal is. Yeah, I wonder what they've got. The, the power must have been in there originally. I've seen one eel here in 11 years. Wow. Lost. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they go, so the they go, they go, they go, they go, they go, they so they haven't got the end of the cave yet. They're still exploring, they're still mapping new caves. Because as we were saying, six months ago they mapped a new area where they hadn't been before. If you imagine you're in the caves, you go to a lot of dead ends and you go back to a different way. Or it's too scary. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine when you had to use the ladder to get down to that section. Yes. Yeah. Hang on, Dylan. You've done a good job. When the floor of the Imperial Cave was excavated in 1975, bones were discovered. The bones of a Tasmanian devil, long extinct on the mainland. It's probably where we're going next. Yeah? Yeah, well people go exploring, they, they climb down with that ropes and the abseil. Yes. Well originally it did have water flowing through here, but the water goes through all the limestone. Oh, it was like years ago, there would have been a lot of water in, in the area. But you see, that flooded back in 2013 and the water went up to the stairs. And it flooded in February and it went all the way up to the first step. Did you see uh, what's in the big box? Tasmanian devil. Tasmanian devil, okay, very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's weird about that? They live in Tasmania, okay, very good. So, the weird thing is, we're on the mainland of Australia and they live in Tasmania. But they used to live on the mainland, the dingo was introduced and they killed them off. Oh. So uh, the, it's ended up through being scared, lost, washed in or fallen in, and once it's here there's no further light, it won't survive. We even found uh, what we thought was a diprotodon. Does anyone know what a diprotodon is? Yes. Says I'm something about Transformers. Diprotodon. <laughs> Sounds like a transformer. It's not a transformer. Is <laughs> it a dinosaur? Kind of. It's like a wombat the size of a hippo. Wow. Uh, one about the size of a hippo. Then we found out it's not a diprotodon. It's a zygomaturus. Okay. One about the size of a hippo. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not the one studying these bones, but that's the case. Another thing we find in caves, if you look in the middle of this light here, is a fossil of a big seashell. Wow. And now, John, where do you get seashells from? The beach. 
Oh, very Where good job. Well, I can't mm. see it. Mm. Okay, just take my word for it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's a fossil of a, a seashell right there. Now, so seashells come from the beach, right? Yes. So they tell me not to work with kids or animals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, now, that tells us that the ocean was here. So the ocean was here first, 430 million years ago. I didn't know that. I was around back then. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that water he's been drinking? Yeah. Scientists are smart people when they study these things. They find seashells in the rock. There's no fossils of boned animals like fish. There's only these ones. So that's what tells us that's 430 million years old. So, 430 million years old kids, it's older than mum and dad. Now, the ocean was here, it's crushed these seashells and coral and things like this. So you've got this ancient seabed of limestone that's been uplifted with the Great Dividing Range. And it's been uplifted, it's turned over, it's cracked. And then water's come through the weak spots and shaped the cave. Hey Flynn, have you had to duck down yet? <laughs> yeah, I just did Ben. Can I duck Beautiful. So this is a good example of a river shaped cave. Mm -hmm. okay. It's long, it's windy, it's rounded. Uh, there's a sinkhole, there's a river. In fact, above us is the Chifley Cave, and above that is two levels of the Elder Cave. And it's actually very much like a five story building. There's a lot of order on this side of the mountain. Now, is there any questions on the limestone from anyone? Uh, how do you know what's the limestone and what's the stone? So it's all what I'm saying. Yes, George. It's really fast, Not in this cave, uh, though. Chifley cave, we found that Tiger Maturus. Now, actually, there's evidence behind that perspective of uh, historic graffiti of when they did discover the cave, 1879. And there's a park next to it 100 years and one day. Because it says February 17th. The reason is Ken Booth, the Minister of Tourism, he was on. He was up the top and he accidentally got. So he landed on some wires up near the light pitting and Chickamesh and he broke bones. Uh, he got taken out of the cave. He survived. So this part of the cave is named after him. It's written up on the wall. It's uh, named after William Ridley. It's oh, yeah. Ridley's shortcut, 56 feet. One hell of a shortcut, not a good way to get to the cave. <laughs> So I'm going to turn the lights off now. I'm going to experience a bit of cave light. So are you able to turn? Levi, what's your thought on the first cave tour? Mm. The Imperial Diamond, what do you think of it? It was good. Flynn? Great! <laughs> it's the, only, the, only down, the only downside is that you couldn't pick the rock crystals off. What's your thoughts? I Liz? thought it was great. 
Except they, they said do not touch the crystals and I wanted to snap all of them off. And no one else would see them. It was and I thought it was good. It's been a long time since I've been there and I'd forgotten what it was like, so yeah, it was good to see it all again. It's been 20 years or so since I've been there.